Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfilms. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about the Laravel and the cool thing about the Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. So we are finally going to start the authentication series in the Bitfilm channel. And I promise you, you will never find this kind of series in anywhere on the YouTube or in the internet. So please be with me. I'm going to show you the inside of the authentication generated by the Laravel itself. Okay, so this video is just the overview of the authentication series I'm going to start. So. In this video, I am going to show you the content of this series so that you will get the knowledge of the content of the series and you will get the idea what is coming soon. We will see many things in this series. So the first thing is obviously the basic of authentication. That means how to make auth, database connection, migration where the view controller and the model generated by the Laravel for the authentication and obviously the authentication routes. So in this episode or in this section, we will just see the basic of the authentication. That means we will create the basic auth by using the PHP artisan auth and this will help us to start our project. After that, I will show you the views of app that means inside the layout.app.php the login register the home the password reset views i will introduce you with the views and obviously the error and many functions used in that views now your question will be what the reason of just understanding the views the written html part i want to learn the level part but wait we will go and change many of the things so for that changes you will have the knowledge of the views you will have the knowledge how that thing are written we will go and change the registration part we will add something into into that registration part so for adding you must have the knowledge of the html written in for that register dot blade dot php so that's why I have given this system so that you will get the view knowledge easily. Obviously, when you work on your project, you will need all these things. That is the basic reason I have implemented that thing here. The next thing will be the login controller. Obviously, there will be a login controller from which the authentication has been done. So we will see what is inside of the login controller after that the auth middleware we will see how the middleware has been written and we will see the flush session actually that flush session is used to flush out all the sessions has been created that means when you click the logout button the flush session will remove every session from your project okay after that we will see login and logout functions the login and logout function how they are created what are the things written in that controller okay and after that we will see the attempt login function what that attempt login function can do okay after that we will see the register controller obviously as we have understand the login controller <coughs> we will obviously have to understand the register controller so in the register controller, we will see the register function. How will the register function work? Now, the crucial part, we will obviously going to change the registration form. Obviously, we are going to add some field in the registration form and we will going to add the last name field in that registration form. And we will obviously have to make the changes in the model so that we can get the new field inside our registration system obviously for that we will have to change the database also we will add the last name field inside our inside our user table so these are the thing we will cover in the register controller part so after that after that we will see logout and more that means the logout system how the logout part work showing the last name on the header when you see when you log into the laravel authentication system you will see the name just as a name and obviously we have 
added the new field called last name so we want to show full name that means the first name and last name both in the header part so after that we will learn about the logout system the basic thing is the laravel take you to the login page when you log out from any page so we will see how we will transfer that system to any page we want let's say after logout you want to take your user to a service page to a home page or to any page you want and the last thing the display message of logout you can see after logout you cannot get any message that you will successfully log out or not obviously that is not the important thing but is very crucial because you will have to point to the user activities okay so that is the crucial thing we will use flash message system for displaying the message after logout after that we will see the password reset system obviously we have the password reset system so we will see first the reset password controller and we will see how the token string get from the url and obviously the validation of that token and final the resetting of the password and after that we will learn forgot password control and inside the forgot password control we will see how this send email system work and we will see the send reset link and how to create token the token we are sending for the resetting of the password where that token has been generated so we will see all these things in that part also after that part we will go to the another authentication that means the multi auth system many of the subscribers has been asking me many times that please make a video for the multi auth system so guys this is for you we are going to implement the multi auth part in in our authentication series that means we have a user authentication system we have admin authentication system and both are totally different so we will see this thing in our series of authentication after that we will create the access level control system that means we have a single login system but there is different role of the user that means one user is admin one user is editor so when you log in with the editor part you cannot have the access to go to the setting page okay so these are the things i am going to show you in this system okay and the last thing is the most important email verification this is the most important thing that when a user is registered you must have to verify its email so for that what we can do that until the user has not verified its email then it is not allowed to log in properly okay so this is the system we are going to create in the email verification part of the authentication series and and after this part we will wrap up the series from my end but if you want to add something new please please comment me below so that i will add that thing in this authentication series also so if you have any suggestion for the authentication series please feel free to comment okay and we will going to rock with this authentication series and you will get to know many of the things you will never found anywhere okay so don't forget to subscribe we will meet in the next episode of the first part of the authentication series and till then enjoy the other videos and keep coding be happy goodbye